thank you very much if that happens. Even if it doesn't, thank you for the follows. But if it does, thank you very, very much. All right, our purple Protoss player from Formless Bear Sloss. It is Calmo until someone corrects us on that. <laughs> it's Calmo until further notice. Oh, shit. I, okay, I caught the overlay, but we're good. And yeah, did you change the scores or whatever? Yep. Cool. And his opponent from Psionic Aftermath, the blue Terran in the bottom left of Overgrowth, it is Passion. All right, so let me do the scores real quick. Best is seven, and we're tied up. Boom. Scores are updated, gentlemen. <sighs> they are helping us save esports. You are absolutely right, Spooky. Yeah, Everybody dude, 21 watching. follows in a clan war is pretty badass. Normally, we get all our, fo our follows during the tournament. While we have that segue, no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> Dude, that was that was too good. Like that was creepy. I was about good, to dude. sell out on you guys so hard, but I'm not even gonna do it. No, but in all seriousness, normally we get all of our follows during um, our tournament, so it's badass to get some love during Clan War. Thank you guys so much, and again, a huge shout out to both these clans. Both these guys agreed uh, to come show us some love, and I think they're both part of CTL, so that's probably worth throwing a little shout out to, right? Like if you guys don't know who uh, Chobo Team League is. You should probably find out who Chobo Team League is and give them a follow, especially if you like team game content, uh, because that's all they do. And we basically recruited both these teams straight out of their their Discord. So huge shout out to CTL, you guys are the shit, and we're just trying to kill time in the beginning of this game here. Hell yeah, man! The collaboration with them has been awesome. They're a really great group of people. Yep. Uh, uh, that being said, Reaper looks like it's coming out now as the CC does go down. I imagine the probe is eventually going to come back up and scout this. Insane. Nexus... Oh, sorry. Oh, Insane oh, wait, guy no, for no. the win follows. Thank you very much. And this guy says you're better than base trade. Keep up the good work. I don't know if he's trolling or what, but I just wanted to read that out anyway. My bad for cutting you off, though, good sir. What was up? Nah, man. I'll take that compliment. That's <laughs> awesome. Even if that is a troll. Like, so Giggle, shut up. I have to read this comment. <laughs> We're better than very straight. Like, <laughs> nah, uh, so this this expo from Calmo was... Or, uh, sorry, yeah. This expo from Calmo was um, scouted. I just wanted to throw that out there because that was pretty much the only relevant thing that happened so far. But in terms of production, we got a reactor barracks. I guess that's still a little too early to really call anything out. So it looks like this Reaper is going to come in and get a, at least a decent scout off. Very smart by Passion to get out of the way. The pylon overcharge there. Nobody likes that. Yep. Nobody likes to hit with that. Sorry. So this Reaper like wants it. to poke in, but the Mothership Core is going to bop it if it doesn't pay attention. Oh, it's so close. And it's like a Western. <laughs> like, where's that? <laughs> I know. We need some tumbleweeds blowing by and shit. All right. So he's oh, actually... the pylon. OP. OP. He's going to yeah. pick up a probe for his troubles as well. He's going to get out. There you go. What a smooth criminal, dude. He came in, we he got it. two kills, and he just peaced out, dude, with his trophies. That's pretty for nice. For some reason, it feels like we need, like, a soundboard for this particular cast, you know? Like, we just hit Smooth Criminal right there. Like, <laughs> we, got, we got to go into all sorts of stuff, dude. We got to upper production. I know, man. I wish that shit was possible, but then I'd probably overdo it, and it would become all cheesy. And, like, you know me, man. I get a little carried away on things, so <laughs> it's probably better that we don't have such things. You'd be hearing, like, air horns in the background. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> Rex, got, got him. For, no. Man. Um, so it looks like Stim coming in for uh, Passion. Meanwhile, Robo going down for Cal Calmo. Calmo. Jesus, man, I don't know. Are you going Calm or Cal? I don't know, man. I wish one of the clanmates would correct us because I really hate butchering people's names, man. Uh, but like, how do you read that? It could go either way. You know what I mean? So it's not our fault. But like, if either one of you got, or like if either one of the clanmates could let us in on that, I'd appreciate it. So we're not just fucking up his name all night. Um, but these adepts are going to push in here and unfortunately take a shade right into a group of marines and get bopped immediately. So the only thing they did is they got some pretty good scouting information off in that they saw that there was an expo from Passion. But we kind of knew that that was going to happen either way. So uh, Pylon ZZ, thank you for following. Appreciate you, man. So it looks like uh, additional gateways coming down now, bringing the total to four for Calmo. And the warp prism uh, coming out of the robo as well. So as we always say, when we see the warp prism, we're probably going to see a big move out coming here in a little bit. Uh, yeah. As Calmo gets that full saturation up on the natural. Yeah, fucking... Uh, I hope that you guys are eventually able to cast some high tier players as well as clan wars. That would be sick. Uh, I appreciate the compliment, man. And just to let you in... 
on something that we have coming up we're gonna do like a 50 dollar open so whoever we can get to show up for 50 bucks we'll be casting so a little teaser of something that is to come while we have a bit of a lull in this game but it's not gonna be long as this bio force is about to oh shit the war prism Today is gonna see it though uh, yeah, for sure. And the tank's going to see the warp prism. And unfortunately, those Marines aren't in position. Uh, Passion decides that he's going to move in and just look to defend that at home. Nice pickup there, being able to see it. If the tank does siege, uh, it's going to get to work on that, that over er, overcharged pylon. Yep. So again, man, those tanks getting planted just outside the pylon overcharge. I've been, like, every single time now, those guys have just nailed it. It's pretty impressive to see. Dude, I love this. The war prison's like, you know what? I should probably go back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, all right. The base is just getting like ripped down. Like, uh, I should probably go back. Yeah, maybe we were droning on and on and like showering ourselves with compliments too much there because we kind of missed this move out, or at least I did. I knew it was going to be strong, but man, there just wasn't really thing in the way of an answer here for uh, Calmo. Yep. So those gateways should be warp gates. Yeah, okay, ready. So he is able to bring in a significant amount of units. But there really just isn't anything to run up on this bio force that he needs. I mean, he could shade, but he just needs a larger number of adepts. I mean, the ones he has, he's working with now are pretty weak. One of them actually going down a tank fire right there. Yeah, and th this pylon is just out of range to really do anything effectively. And there wasn't enough energy. So now that there is, it's going to come into play. But, at, you know, at what cost? There's already been eight probes that have gone down as well as a, a numerous pylons. So, oh, shit. And then the natural falls as well, man. That's pretty significant. So... Passion, realizing the one good thing is Calmo does have this third, so that can act as natural for now, but still, he would have liked to have three base. But Passion, realizing the damage has been dealt, probably smart to not lose their, you know, play with fire with that army and just back up. Um, oh, shit. I like this. What's up? Someone just hit us with a donation, man. We're on a 45-second uh, delay, so it's going to take me forever to give you proper call-out for that. But whoever just gave us a donation, thank you guys very, very much. That is much appreciated, so... It doesn't matter the amount, whoever did it, and however much. Thank you very much, guys. And now I have to, like, do a look at the game and the stream I know. and the game. I will see this like... donation come in. No. <laughs> For sure. Uh, but it was a little weird to me that Passion, uh, like, stopped attacking right there, man. Do you think that overcharge alone was enough to scare him away? Seriously? Um, or did he just so not know about the third, so he didn't go over there to attack it, maybe, huh? I don't think he just knew about the third. We'll have to see what these adepts are able to do. I don't think they're... Okay, so at least he does pick them up and get them out. So nothing... Didn't lose anything there. But I honestly don't think that he knew about the third. Looking at Passion's map, he hasn't been over there or seen anything over there. So... Yeah. Yeah, and like you said, I don't think he really knew that... He, he didn't know about that third. So it basically it. just gets to act as that... Uh, the natural now. It's already got completely maynarded it over. And it has a full mineral line. So he, he still has... shit. What's it that? Was, dude, Haipu donated 50 bucks. What? That Haipu donated 50 bucks. Oh shit, thank you very much for that. What is that, spooky? Yeah, I It's probably spooky, so, right? <laughs> like, thank you guys very much for a $50 yeah. donation. That's Solid fucking huge. Solid $50 donation, yeah. man. Thank you very much. I don't want to take too... Like, obviously, that's fucking awesome, but we have a big move out going on here from Passion. want to make sure that we don't miss that, as a third base is going down. So he's picking up his own. Doesn't look like Protoss, you know, uh, yeah. took that natural again. Yeah, no, I'm following the move out, but we can just show a little bit of love to that. 50 fucking dollars, dude. That's huge. That'll fund two and a half weeks of the Nidus, so thank you very yeah. much. Uh, but the move out has landed. These tanks are going to get planted right on top oh. of this Protoss force. Uh, both tanks got picked off, but there's just too much bio right here. I don't yeah. really know if there's anything to contest this amount of bio, and there's medevacs as well to heal it. And Calmo's been on the back foot here for a little while now. Passion's going to be able to just push on through. Oh, shit, he does Cal have overcharge, though. So Cal not, not anymore. Calmo uh, <laughs> did a really good job of, of targeting down the tanks in the beginning part of that fight. Like, he was able to take those tanks out before uh, any damage really was done to him. But unfortunately, he just didn't have enough units on the ground to buffer for his immortals. And yeah. now you can see that they're kind of just caught without anything in front of them. Oh man, these mines what are just, hit? yeah, working him down as well. It didn't necessarily get any kills, but it took a huge amount of health out of all those units, and now he's just going to be able to push on through. Yep. And Psionic Passion. Aftermath, Passion will take uh, game number three, so now they're up 